My humble life experience has teached me that it's not good to be against something in general. I don't like cheese, I don't like fish, I don't like <coughs> quartz. And so in this episode the lead role has the Folan Marie Mare Bleu. Let's go over the basics. We have here a classic 30s inspired chronograph with a case diameter of 38 mm. 46 mm length lock to lock and the thickness is 11. Lock width is 20. We have a sapphire with anti-reflective coating and the watch is waterproof up to 50 meters. Inside is the Mecca Quartz Movement Seiko VK64 with the mentioned chronograph function. Price is 533 euros or 620 US dollars. And the watch is not yet available, but you can pre order it until December the 9th. So let's speak about the first pink elephant in the room, the quartz movement. Such things are not 100% bad. Sometimes it makes sense when you want to create a fun watch, not complicated without maintenance, a watch you can hand as a gift to a relative or friend. Or you can wear it yourself in rougher environments without worrying. The brand Dan Henry created an entire line of watches around this concept. I personally owned a Dan Henry, but I don't remember the reference because I flipped it. The movement wasn't the problem, rather the crystal and hands with this sort of flashy bling bling. But I know serious watch collectors that enjoy such a piece from time to time. And what we have to see? When the difficulties of a mechanical movement are out of the way, the manufacturer can set full focus on the design. Also here, stunner. Dial color, case form, hands, fonts, subtitles, close to perfection. Note that they grabbed this conservative design and made it look relatively fresh. I love the scales, especially the minute scale with these little blocks around the little markers. Really a pleasure to explore all those details here. Note for example the fine difference in brushing. I mean you can do this very cheap, you can do it with a clumsy layer of varnish. But here we have a fine vertical brushing on the inner dial, then this vinyl disc structure on the subdials, and also a radial brushing on the outer section, there under the gradu pour sans respiration, which by the way is a pulsometer and gives the piece the flair of a doctor's watch. The only thing I don't like so much are the Roman numerals, because they are cut into a lot of pieces, <laughs> but that might be only my taste. And I really like that they didn't go crazy about the case back, plain and simple like in the old days. One word now about the brand Folan Marie. It was founded by the Swiss industrial designer Andrea Folan and Hamad Al Marie, which is a watch collector and artist from the Middle East. And he studied business management in Australia. Folan on the other side worked many years for companies like Chopard and so we can assume that this duo knows what they're doing. But what puzzles me now is the price. The watch is very close to the Dan Henry 1937. Same specs, same movement, but the Dan Henry retails at 270 US dollars or around 250 euros. So less than half the price of the Mare Blue. This makes no sense. For that kind of money you could equip the watch with a manual wound seagull movement. This would fit 100% because the Seagull ST19 is in fact the clone of the old Venus movement which was found back then in this type of watch. So this high price, together with the Mecca Quartz, ruins in my eyes the entire concept of the watch. Strange, so strange that I'm almost certain that I have overlooked something here. Help me out with a comment please, what's going on? And with this question let me close this episode. Thank you very much and see you next Monday to Watch of the Week. <laughs>